unlock the untold secrets of one of history's most devastating events. Join us as we delve into the gripping tale of the Great Irish Potato Famine, uncovering the shocking truth behind its origins and the remarkable journey of the humble potato. Get ready to embark on a journey through time and unravel the mysteries that shaped nations. Don't miss out, your perspective on history is about to change. Scientists have known for a long time that a specific type of plant disease, called Phytophthora infestans, caused big problems for potato farms in Ireland, and Northern Europe in 1845. This led to a really bad time called the Irish Potato Famine. This disease gets into plants through their leaves and makes the potatoes shrivel up and not good to eat. They thought a certain type of this disease, called US1, was to blame, which still hurts crops a lot today. To figure this out, scientists from the UK, Germany, and the US looked at the DNA from old plants kept in museums in the UK and Germany. They studied these samples at a lab in England. By looking at the genes of these old plants and comparing them to new ones, they figured out how the disease changed over time and spread around the world. They found out that US-1 wasn't the cause of the problem. Instead, it was a different type of the disease, called Herb-1, that started in the Americas, probably in Mexico, and then spread to Europe in the 1840s. This Herb-1 caused the big famine and lots of other potato problems worldwide. It wasn't until later that scientists made better potato plants that could fight off Herb-1. They think Herb-1 isn't around anymore. Potatoes originally came from places in South America thousands of years ago. They started to be grown in other parts of the world after Spanish people conquered the Incas. Even though some Europeans weren't sure about potatoes at first, they realized how good they were. Potatoes didn't spoil easily, had lots of energy, and were easy to grow. When other crops failed in Europe, lots of people started eating potatoes instead. No place relied on potatoes more than Ireland, where they became the main food for a lot of people. Poor farmers there depended on potatoes because they could grow in bad soil and gave a lot of energy. These farmers ate a lot of potatoes every day, and they also fed them to their animals. But by the 1800s, there were already some small potato problems in Ireland and other parts of Europe. Even though other places grew different kinds of potatoes to avoid big problems, Ireland mostly grew one kind called the Irish Lumper. So when Herb 1 showed up in 1844, it caused huge problems right away. Within a year, lots of potato fields were destroyed in France, Belgium, Holland, and Ireland. Many people died because they didn't have enough to eat. Things got worse because British help didn't really help. They brought in food, but Ireland didn't have enough mills to make it into flour. British landlords also kicked out farmers who couldn't pay rent, and places set up to help people were really bad. By 1851, a million people in Ireland had died, and two million left the country. Even now, Ireland's population still hasn't fully recovered. Those who stayed started a movement for Ireland to be independent, remembering the hard times they went through. Don't miss out on more captivating insights into history and beyond. Hit that subscribe button and join our community of knowledge seekers. Stay tuned for more thought-provoking content coming your way.